guys, this is Ron Moore. How's it going? What's ECW number seven? I might be losing count. I don't know if I keep counting all these, these videos start doing it, but what's ECW number seven? But yeah, so I thought this time I'd go ahead and talk about the Mega Man X. I talked about it a little bit in my last What's ECW video. Um, yeah, because as I said, it was in 94 when I first played it. The game came out in 93, but Mega Man X was um, was released December 93. I didn't play it until like probably December 94. And I just have a little more. I told some of my story already, especially for those that have seen me stream the game or played it or whatever. I've talked about this before, but probably a little bit more to the story than what I've ever told. So Mega Man X, as you guys know, I mean, the Mega Man series, it started on the NES, Mega Man's 1 through 7. Uh, 7. I'm sorry, 1 through 6 on the NES. But the same, I think the same year that 6 came out on NES is when X came out. For the SNES. And I remember, because I used to subscribe to Nintendo Power Magazine back in the day. And I remember seeing, what, what was that section called in the back of Nintendo Power? Um... I forgot what it was called, like, games that are coming, uh, what's gonna, yeah, like, uh, games coming out soon, coming soon, or whatever, and at the, at the end of the issue, there was always a section called coming soon, or whatever it was called, and Mega Man X was one of them, they showed a, a beta screenshot, uh, Mega Man fighting the, uh, that mini boss in the Sting Chameleon stage, and then, uh, yeah, I forgot what the screenshots may have shown, and man, and my friend Venom22, man, he, he also told me as soon as he heard about that game coming out, he was, I think he was begging his mother, begging his parents to buy him that game for that Christmas. Because yeah, we wanted, we wanted that game, man. Mega Man X, Mega Man on the Super Nintendo, are you kidding me? Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo, man. We had to have it. We had to have it. Now, I did not get to get it that Christmas. I got a different game. I think I don't know why. I think there's another game I wanted more. Or I forgot what happened. But uh, yeah, Christmas '93. I remember getting Street Fighter II Special Champion Edition. And I think that I guess I wanted that more than Mega Man X. But um, I don't know what happened. Uh, I think it was cheaper too. So it wasn't later to summer '94, man. When I rented it from Blockbuster, Mega Man X, and I finally was able to play it. And I, but going back before I played it, when, before it was released, I mentioned in my last video that uh, what's ECW when I was talking about Mega Man X. I had a dream about it. And I really had. I was so looking forward to that game. I was so excited about that game that I had a dream about it. I vaguely remember what I dreamed about in particular. I just know it was about Mega Man X. About what the game may look like, what I was thinking it's gonna look like, this the robot master select screen or whatever. We didn't know we didn't know they were called Mavericks yet, or at least I didn't. I don't think it's too early in the game to tell that they were, they were gonna be called Mavericks. You know, like Bubba, uh, we thought they might be called Bubble Man, Air Man. We didn't know the robot master's names yet, but then when the poster came out for Mega Man X, no, for Nintendo Power, uh, you know, remember those posters in Nintendo Power magazine? Remember that? That was freaking awesome, dude. The, the Nintendo Power Magazine posters. So the month before Mega Man X, I think, came out is when they had the Mega Man X poster and it showed uh, all the Mavericks on there. That was like Sting Chameleon uh, or whatever. Uh, uh, hey, man, I'm, ha I'm having a brain fart right now. I, can't I know I can remember more names than that. Um, Chill Penguin, Spark Mandrill, like what? These are different names than uh, what they were called in the Mega Man and the NES series. They're not called So and So Man, and Hard Man, and Easy Man, whatever you want to call. No, uh, that was weird. So, uh, but I said, all right, let's go. And then I lost it in Tinder Power Magazine because the night I rented it from Blockbuster. Like I said, I played it from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. Trying to figure out everything because I lost the Nintendo Power Magazine. 
with Mega Man X on the cover. I think it's the 50th issue, if I'm not mistaken. No, issue number 50, Mega Man X. Um, I lost that one. How did I lose that one? It's a special issue. So I had to figure it out on my own. No internet back then. I was not allowed to call the hotline. Nope. I just figured it out somehow. You know, Chill Penguin. I, I went with Chill Penguin first, and then that worked on Spark Mandrill. That game took me, it took me all night to get to Sigma's Fortress, but the game was so awesome. The soundtrack, the graphics, Mega Man, you're playing as X now instead of, it's not called Mega Man anymore, but like this new robot, Zero, it looks pretty cool. So Mega Man X, I mean, the, the, the intro stage, that, that's also what was new. You don't even get the uh, Mavic Select stream yet. You get taken to this intro stage. Like, I go, I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, okay, let's, okay, well, we're starting the game now? Okay, let's go, we're starting the game now, okay? And so the highway level, the intro level, and then I fight Vile and I get my butt kicked, I go, oh wait, I'm about to die. Then he comes Zero to the rescue with his heroic music playing. And then after that, then you go to the Maverick Select screen. And the, man, this, that game, even people that never heard of Mega Man, say good things about it like my friend Lucas Fowler he goes hey uh, have you played a game called Mega Man X I go have I played it dude that's why like, one of my favorite games of all time Mega Man X and he's not very familiar I don't think he's like very familiar with the Mega Man series at all and then I remember you know uh, Swindoll's cousin Justin he was telling me one time have you played a game called Mega Man X I said, yeah, and I don't, I don't know if Justin was that familiar with the Mega Man series either. And someone else that came over my house, whoa, this game looks cool. Just the, the intro music, uh, the, the intro stage music, the soundtrack, the action. Dude, to this day, Mega Man X holds up, man, and I still love to play it and stream it. I can breeze through the game easily today, but back then, that game was hard. Mega Man X was hard, it was different. It was on the SNES, things were different now. It's like a, you fight Mavericks, and you're fighting a guy named Sigma. Dr. Wiley and Dr. Light are dead. This is like 30 years to the future. And those guys are already old. So you know they're dead. And, uh, dude, I just remember from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. playing it. I might have taken restroom breaks or something, but I did not stop. or I didn't go to bed till my mom made me go to bed. Dude, it was, what a night, dude. Mega Man X. And then... Finally uh, beating it. Well, it didn't take me too long to beat it, I don't think. But man, I beat it. That ending is sweet, awesome ending music. Uh, and then at the very end, where Sigma shows on the TV screen and says, I'll be back, or whatever he said, I forgot. Because you destroyed a temporary body. My spirit still remains intact. I'll see you very soon. And I think in the storyline, like six months later, X2 comes out, which is also an awesome freaking game. But Mega Man X in particular, I mean, now, I know it wasn't the only one. So many of us kids and adults, whoever, were anticipating that game so bad because we loved the NES series, Mega Man uh, 1 through 6. Well, at the time, I didn't play. I, I played 5 and X at the same time. The summer of 94, I played 5 a little bit, then I finally was able to play X. So Mega Man 1 through 4 is what I really immersed myself in. Mega Man 1 through 4. And then uh, in the summer of 94, it was five and then X. And of course I would rent it. My friends would come over, but I'd bring it over to their house to play it. And dude, that game just rocks to this day. Especially Storm Eagles music. Rock and roll, dude. What are some of your favorite Mega Man X memories? I mean, really, Mega Man X, uh, I don't know what, what, much what else to say about it, um, but just Mega Man X just really is one of my top favorite games of all time. It's one of the best overall games in the SNES, and Capcom really killed it. Man, they really turned it up like five notches but when they moved Mega Man over to the SNES. I mean, they really... Uh, Jeez, dude. They had, a, they had a killer team back in the day. Dude. Capcom was lit back in the day. And Mega Man X was one of those reasons why, man. They had a great development team. 
uh, and, and just the, the story of Mega Man X2, not X2, but the story of Mega Man X also, the, the story also is cool. Really, uh, really, really rocked. So, Mega Man X, probably in the X series. Yeah, definitely. I haven't played every single X game. I played most of them, but not all of them. Uh, I think I played what I play X. Well, X to X three, I play really four, five, and six. I don't know if I played it, but I've seen them, or I've seen Venom Twenty Two play them, and I've seen bits and pieces of Seven X Seven X Eight, but. Out of X, X2, and X3 for sure. All three of them are great games, but the first X to me is my personal favorite. I mean, and then the part with Zero dies, that was sad, but of course we can be ready with X2. Sorry for spoiling for anybody that's played X X2. Yeah, it's an old game, so. But X2, you know, Zero does come back to life if you bring it back to life. And then X3, you get to play as Zero, so. X, X2, and X3 is pretty awesome. Yeah, but, but the first X, I just remember wanting to play it so bad. So many kids could not wait for that game to come out. It's Mega Man freaking X. And because the NES series is great, I did go on to eventually play 6. I did not play 6 until my adulthood when I got Mega Man Anniversary Collection for PS2. And so yeah, Mega Man X. Probably my favorite soundtrack in the game could be uh, Storm Eagle. Uh, Armor, Armor Armadillo's music kind of, sounds kind of funny. I used to make fun of it when I was a kid. I thought it was stupid. But looking back on it now, it, it, it's kind of catchy. Still still not one of my favorite tracks in the game, but Armor Armadillo is kind of catchy. Um, Steam Chameleons is a personal favorite of mine. The intro stage music is also great. Uh, Spark Mandrill, I always thought it sounded like Mariah Carey singing it, the way it sounds. Um... Oh, Flame Mammoth is pretty cool. Flame Mammoth reminds me of Big Van Bader. Uh, who else is there? Boomer Quanger. My friend, my friend Jesse, when we were kids, and I would play Boomer Quanger stage, <laughs> we, we, we would listen to the music as I was playing the stage, and he would go, man, this song makes me want to work. <laughs> and I'm like, we start busting out laughing, because if you go back and listen, if you, if you remember... What Boomer Quinger's uh, track sounds like in that game is music. It just makes you want to work. Like, I can picture <coughs> two construction worker guys next to this big rock with a pickaxe, each chipping away on 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 each side of it. <laughs> just a. Uh, it, that was funny when he said that. It sound it makes me want to work. It makes me want to get a pickaxe or a rock hammer or something, just chip away at some rocks or something. Because the music rocks. Rock man. Um and what else is there? Probably, who else am I missing? Uh, oh, Launch Octopus's music wasn't that bad either. I like how he taunts you, he's, he points at you, says like you're going down. That was pretty cool. Um So yeah, pretty much all the music in, in Mega Man X is cool, man. Especially that boss battle music. That boss battle music was epic, dude. X2 and X3's boss battle music does not compare to X's boss battle music at all. It does not. All right, so guys, what are your thoughts on Mega Man X? One of my overall favorite games of all time. So many great memories with Mega Man X alone. I have great memories of X2 and X3 as well, but X is my personal favorite. X marks a spot. What about you? What are some of your favorite memories of Mega Man X? Or which is your favorite next series? All right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. Have a good night. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.